Oh, club meeting night. Yes, it's just the night. Fella with a gun. Got a naval officer there, an old one. There he is. He's gone. This is Tommy. There's Mark's Roman coins there. That is more that way. Yeah, where is it? Is that is that an average? Oh no. There you go. Found them all in one go. This is no, it. Who just fell asleep? Yeah. yeah. All your Romans there, he's just found. One moment. There's the gentleman there. Well done, Mark. The detail and the wings and everything. Yeah. Uh, the pick going on tonight. Uh, we're short for a few bodies down the front here, so. Could have picked up a few scarves in Scotland. Nice find. Playing with the snow. Um, Big something. We've got. Um, uh, no. A bit of an issue to, to care. You would actually be checked. If you were going into the trenches, you would be checked. And this is why the officers carry sticks like this for checking up the back. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's a true story. All the regiments, all the barracks still have regimental mirrors that you had to step over on the way out. Now, a lot of people might have uh, seen Blackadder over the years, all that sort of stuff, and thought, oh, all well, the officers, they were all. Uh, public, ed public school uh, school boys that didn't know their job, etc., etc., couldn't be further from the truth. Life expectancy of an officer on the Western Front: how many weeks? Six. Yeah. For every one man uh, killed or wounded, there will be nine officers killed or wounded. The men uh, back in those days very much did leave from the front, and until 1915, their main weapon, believe it or not, was one of these. Yeah, the officers were expected to carry sharpened swords and until the middle of 1915 it was not uncommon to have officers charging against machine guns with swords drawn. Yeah, absolutely insane. We did, of course, and bear in mind this is not for ceremonial use, this is sharp at the end for sticking in dastardly Harry Bunn. Uh, the other weapon that the officer would have uh, is not so easy in gloves is the wonderful Webley revolver. Yeah? One of the most powerful handguns in the world. It fires a 455 round and you will be lucky to hit the back of the room with it. They weren't very accurate at all, but they were extremely powerful. Yeah? These were first uh, used in, uh, you might have seen like the Sudan campaigns over there in the wilds of Africa, places like that. These were excellent at stopping men with spears and, and sharpened pieces of mango. Yeah? They were absolutely useless in the Boer War, but once we got into trench fighting again, once we were in the uh, closer uh, trench fighting, they found that they were extremely useful. And then uh, the work officers would often pick them up and, and try and use them as well. So that is the, the, the usual kit that your officer would be carrying. Apart from that, he would have his binoculars, he would have his maps, he would have a compass, he would have all sorts of stuff. And he would be expected as well, even though he wouldn't use it, to carry a, a rifle and ammunition. So these fellows were laid them down. What's that? You're not having the rifle. No, 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 no rifle for you. So, that is the kit and equipment of your everyday frontline officer. Now, not everybody uh, was an officer. There would be 24 to 26 officers for about a thousand men in the first world version of the stuff that you've just seen, the 1903 pattern stuff, the good thing here is your ammunition actually comes in clips in this. With this set there, you had to put every single round in individually. It was that difficult to use. If you join up one of the nice uh, regular units, you might get some of this. Uh, you might say, well this is the most boring, unpleasant looking thing of it all. Yeah, yeah, I want to play off with you all in the room. Because I would like to have a club table for this one. Roman silver. 
Soldino Hammond. King John Voided Shaw Cross. Steve's axe. Yeah. 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 You gotta try it the other way, try it this side. Sorry? Try it this side because you can yeah. go around. 16 miles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, you know, that's what it is. Because you've got a shadow on this side. Yeah. When they're having a big civil war, right? Jackie's plate. That's what I'll first imagine being like, I'd go, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oof. Quite heavy. Yeah. Nine can of gold with a few bucks. Yeah. Uh, they're they're kind of equipment, but they were carrying it. They're kept made about six, seven small. And then, yeah, that's it. That's 14 miles. All of it makes you say. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Don't fall. Well done, Jackie. I can't even see. <laughs> Hello, YouTubers. It's Thursday, not Friday. So, as you know, you can't eat meat on a Friday. So, tonight is my curry night. There you go. John's Ring Sting Chicken Tikka Vindaloo. Veg Pillu Rice. Right, this Easter we've got a couple of guests over, which is Jackie's son and his girlfriend and the children, which there they are. Well Say hello, Jackie. There's Dale <laughs> and there's <laughs> Becky. Look at his mouth. Right, I'll see you tomorrow on the hunt. Happy hunting. Take care. Hello, YouTubers. This is <laughs> Jessie's on 2006. Uh, what day is it? <laughs> anyway, right, good luck. this is my version of a Scouse Elvis. Thank you very much. And happy old day. <laughs> <Again. laughs> <Shut up. laughs>